Welcome to yet another episode of Applied Salesforce. Here I shall discuss external IDs and how it can be leveraged to maintain referential integrity while uploading related records. To apply this concept, I shall use the scenario. Data owed a fictitious analytics company is tasked with moving customer and its related contacts from a legacy billing system into Salesforce. Legacy system maintains these in two different tables and relationship between account and contacts are one too many. The challenge is how does data owed intuitively use the available data and workbench tool to successfully complete this activity. So let's discuss the schema of the billing system. Billing system has two tables, the customer table and customer contact table. Customer table, the customer code acts as the primary key. The customer contact is related to the customer table, the detail side of the relationship. It uses the customer code on the customer contact as the foreign key to maintain the relationship. So when you upload, when you upload your customer data into Salesforce, you first upload the parent values. Right, the parent records are done. That's going to be straightforward. So use Workbench to load the customer uh, values from the billing system onto the account object. But before you do that, you prepare account object to accommodate the customer code, which is the primary key on the customer table in the billing system. You define a text field with external ID attribute checked and the unique uh, value checked. And once this is done, it's going to be a straightforward process to import all the customer records into uh, Salesforce account object. Once this is complete, we take up the customer contact, you know the CSV file uh, provided by the billing system to load the related uh, contact records onto the contact table uh, contact object here so we use workbench smart tool to actually you know match the customer code in account external code field on the account object once the match is done you essentially the smart lookup essentially pulls the row id of the specific account and feeds that into the account id which is the reference field on contact object after the, when once it once it populates you essentially you know uh, establish a relationship so account contact the that particular referential integrity is established just by you no know, pulling the account row id from the account object and feeding that into the account id which is a reference field on the contact object okay let's flip over I will show how this is implemented in the org. The first step is to prepare the account object by creating a custom text field and having the external ID and the unique field attributes, the unique attribute, the unique attribute and the external ID attribute checked for this field. So this specific field is used to you know, hold the primary key from the external billing system, the account accounts primary key, the customer customer's primary key from the external billing system. Okay, so this is prepared. Now we move on to Workbench, where I will uh, log on to Salesforce. Just click on login with Salesforce. Now you can navigate to data and insert menu item. It asks uh, into which object you wanted to insert the data. I wanted to insert into account and you want to insert a single record or from the file. I choose the file. Let me select the file. I have the file open. I'll explain what's the file all about. So this is the file from the external system. It's the format is CSV. I have the customer name, type, rating, website, and the customer code, which is given by the billing system. Let me load it. I select the file, the 
account input file click open click next typically i will be asked to map the you know, the account the account external id i map it to the customer code the name which is the required field is shown in red i will go for the customer name rating is auto mapped because the label matches the next is type and website did i miss anything let me check website rating type customer name and customer code everything is done so we are good to go it's a straightforward mapping no complexities involved let me map the field the mapping is done let me insert so both the records are inserted and you see this is the row id the primary key uh, for these uh, records that got inserted into account object is also shown okay so this is complete so the next step is to import the contacts so let me um, show you how the contacts csv looks this is supplied by the billing system so it has first name last name cell email salutation title and the account name and account uh, primary key this is what is given so let me flip over to workbench so i wanted to insert the contacts and at the same time i wanted to also maintain the referential integrity so the contacts as it gets loaded should be linked to the appropriate account let's see how this is done i wanted to load contacts so i choose the contact object let me choose the contact object and i wanted to use the file for the data so i have to locate the contacts file i've located it let me click next and as usual the mapping starts so you have this email mapped your last name which is a required field is mapped the first name is the f name the phone number as the cell right salutation and title is uh, mapped because the you know the labels match so here is the trick right so account id which is, account id is on the contact object this is the reference you can see the type reference is a reference field right so it uh, you should feed the actual no uh, primary id of the appropriate account the primary the row id of the appropriate account into this field so how do you do it so you have a csv file the account primary key which is essentially your you no know, the code from the customer code from the external system and you have an option called a smart lookup where you essentially you no know, map try to match the csv field value the account primary key value with the account external code and what it does is it if the if there is a match between these two it actually pulls out it actually pulls out the row id it actually pulls out the row id from the account and feeds that into the account id which is a reference uh, value okay so once this is done let's map it and let's confirm the insert the two records are created let's flip back and and see if the accounts are created and if the accounts are created let us you know new uh, this week let me choose new this week if the accounts are created we should we would be interested in knowing if the contacts that got inserted are actually linked to these accounts so target cop and china group got created and the contacts actually belong to the target crop let's drill down and see if the contacts yes the contacts are also linked to target cop so this is a quick demonstration of uh, you no know, the external ids and how you can leverage them to um, no maintain the referential integrity when you actually load the related records thanks for watching